Hi everybody! We hope you've had a lovely weekend, but this week we're back to read you even more stories. Today's story is all about rabbits. This is Belle's rabbit. It's her favourite toy at home and she likes to cuddle it when she goes to sleep. But this story is about a naughty rabbit called Peter. The Tale of a Naughty Little Rabbit based on the original tale by Beatrix Potter. In a snug little burrow beneath a tall fir tree, in the heart of the wood, lived a family of rabbits. There was Mrs Rabbit and her three daughters, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were all as good as gold. And then there was Peter. Here he is, look! One naughty little rabbit, wearing his smart new coat. Today, Mrs Rabbit had some shopping to do. You can play outside while I'm gone, she told her children. But remember, stay away from Mr McGregor's garden. Mr Rabbit had visited once and never come home. While Mrs Rabbit was out, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail busied themselves like good little bunnies, picking the wild blackberries for tea. But not Peter. He ran straight to Mr McGregor's garden. Here he is, look, one naughty little rabbit, squeezing himself under the gate. First, Peter ate some juicy, fresh lettuce. Then he gobbled some crunchy green beans. Then he nibbled some spicy red radishes. Soon Peter's tummy began to feel a little bit funny. He looked around for some parsley, but instead he found Mr McGregor. Peter turned and ran as fast as his little rabbit legs would carry him. But Mr McGregor chased after him, waving a rake and shouting, Stop, thief! Poor Peter was very frightened. In his panic, he couldn't remember the way back to the gate. He ran back and forth all over the garden, with Mr McGregor close behind him. Here he is, look, one naughty little rabbit running for his life. As Peter dashed through the vegetable patch, one of his shoes came off. Peter kept running. He lost his other shoe in the potatoes. Without shoes, Peter ran even faster. Straight into the net around the gooseberry bushes, the big brass buttons of Peter's blue coat got tangled up. Suddenly, Mr McGregor appeared over him. You wretched little rabbit, I'll have you for my dinner, growled Mr McGregor. Peter wriggled and squirmed to get free. And just before Mr McGregor could trap him, Peter escaped. Maybe I'll be safe in the tool shed, thought the scared little rabbit. A big green watering can seemed like the perfect hiding place. Until Peter discovered how much water there was inside. But... Mr McGregor had followed him into the tool shed. He began turning over flower pots, one at a time, searching for Peter. All of a sudden, he heard a rabbity sneeze. Achoo! From inside the watering can. Poor Peter was out of the can in a flash. He ran away as fast as his little rabbit legs would carry him. He found his way at last back to the garden gate. Finally, Peter was safe in the wood again. He ran all the way home without stopping. Mr McGregor found the two shoes and new blue coat that Peter had left behind. He made them into a scarecrow to frighten away the birds. Back in the snug burrow, Mrs Rabbit was not at all pleased that Peter had lost his shoes and coat.
That evening, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had a delicious feast of bread and milk and freshly picked blackberries. And Peter? Mrs Rabbit put him straight to bed, without any supper, only a spoonful of chamomile tea to settle his tummy ache. Here he is, look, one naughty little rabbit, feeling rather sorry for himself. Don't you feel sorry for him too? The end. Shh, Belle's sleeping. Join us tomorrow.